What up, what up, what up, good people? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? How's everybody Ooh, doing this evening, yes, morning, sir. late night, afternoon, whenever? Whatever time it is. That's right. That's Kevin over there. I'm Lamar. This is the Foul Language Podcast. We're black men, we're husbands, we're brothers, and we're fathers, and a whole bunch of other stuff, too. Yep, yep, yep. We got another good little episode for y'all today. So buckle up, sit tight, get your accessories right. Oh, that round that could be a rapper. Um, oh, and you no. might just hear some foul language. So um got that right. Let's get it. Uh let's before it. we start what's best in life. Uh it, it says it right down there at the bottom. Uh K dot C Fowler. You know what I'm saying? That, that's my my alias, if you will. Boy, your mama named you Kevin. I'm gonna call I, I you know, Kevin. I know what the answer name is. I was there. Damn it. All right. Mm-hmm. But uh, as always, we start off every show with what's best in life. So, brother, what is best in life? Oh man, as we were talking about earlier, this has been a hell of a week, man. Um, I got one of my one of my guys. This isn't the good part, but I'll get there. Uh, one of my guys, he um, earlier during the pandemic, he lost his mother to cancer. Mm. Then he lost his father-in-law to COVID. Damn. Then Monday, he just lost his father to COVID. And to to add all in, insult to injury, he just got COVID yesterday. So Shit. tested positive yesterday. So I bet man. his anxiety is through the fucking roof. Man, man, so... Definitely, my heart goes out to that. Oh, dude. yeah, praise, praise for that guy. Yeah, definitely. And been weighing heavy on me on him. So that was kind of rough. You know, they don't tell you when you become a supervisor or, or manager that not only you got to deal with like, you know, people's performance and shit, you also learn what's going on in their personal lives. And it's heavy. Yeah. But, you know, as I always say, you can't focus on things you can't control. So this is what's best in life. So let's talk about the good stuff. Simone had early school today, so we took her to Chuck E. Cheese today. It's her oh, first time going in a long it. time. Yeah, man, we did it. We did it. It was like four other families in there. So it did was you follow great. my routine? Uh, somewhat. First three or four times, and then I was like, fuck, gotta put the wipes out again. I told you it's but, a little it's a little tedious. Yeah. But, but because it wasn't that many people in there and we didn't eat in there, we just was in there and played games, hand sanitized at strategic moments during the day and We'll be all right. So she had fun with that. She was excited. She didn't even know it was coming. So definitely happy about that. And to end it all off, if you notice, no, I am not in witness protection or anything like that. Please send $10,000 before (laughs) they end me. Please, (laughs) please someone help me. I said I wasn't going to do it. I couldn't resist. You had to, man. It, I don't know what fucking fixed. accent that was. but I don't either, but it <laughs> sounds like it sounds like the, the CD was skipping or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, tell us about your new background. But no, man, as soon as I sat in here, I was like, damn, I look like uh, I'm about to get interrogated. I'm coming live from an undisclosed location or... I'm in a goddamn with- bunker. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. But no, um, I was on Instagram... And uh, I saw the Hot Ticket podcast. Mm-hmm. They do a lot of uh, cigars. They do a lot of cigar reviews and stuff like that. And uh, one of the guys they posted one of these on on Instagram, and they said they were getting one. And then shot, reached out to him and said, "Hey, that's a good idea." And they're like, yeah, they got a two person. It's a good idea for being in the cold. It, theirs is insulated. Mine is just the, the tarp because it doesn't get as cold in Texas. It's pretty nice. It's going into the low 40s, and I'm out here with my sleeves rolled up, so it must be doing pretty good. Yeah. While well, you got your, your fleece on, your yep. under armor yep. on, your, your beanie on, I'm out here like it's summertime. So it, I recommend it. I, I didn't get the more expensive one. Definitely went with the cheap to test it out. There's a couple things I want to work on going forward but for a first attempt i like what we're doing hmm. right on right so, on right on so other than that man that's it All how right. about you that's, man what is best life, in life Oof. <laughs> it has been 
some trying days. I'm not going to say heartbreaking, but it's more like a... It's been stressful, I guess you could say. Sure. And you know, it builds, and it's still building. I know this is what's best in life, but um, what's best in life is... I'm on a six-game winning streak right now, Madden. If y'all want to smoke, come on and get it, man. I posted a couple of episodes ago, and I guess y'all scared of me, man. Y'all ducking me. But anyway. Oh, you mean you done getting your ass beat now? <laughs> I had a little dry spell, man. It happens. I mean, it happens. It happens. Dry spell. Yeah. Um, kids went to the dentist. No cavities. No no teeth need to be yanked out. Nothing like that, you know. Because of COVID, only one parent went. So, you know, Janake went. They you know Kevin Young, big four-year-old, his big, his big kid now, man. He got on the, the big x-ray machine. Didn't cry. None of that <laughs> shit, man. So that, oh, that, that was pretty oh. good, man. And then just being able to take a couple of days to just, like, reflect, I guess you will. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily, like, writing in, in my diary like Doug Funny or some shit like that. But just, you know, just taking a moment to just reflecting on the past couple of days and what I'm going to do to get better and all this other stuff. And, uh, Oh, did another dispute for my credit, man. My shit jumped 24 fucking points. My guy, 24 yeah, fucking yeah. points. More points. I'm on my way, man. I've been, I've been fucking working this goddamn horse since last year, man. And the, and God damn it. That motherfucker started to run now. So That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So hell yeah, man. But with, with all the stressful stuff going on, you know, head of the family so i got to keep everybody's spirits up you know everybody's still mm-hmm. in good spirits laughing having a good time and stuff so yeah man that's what's best in life cool man yes, cool, sir. cool 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 good 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 gotta take the good with the bad man gotta find like <gasps> i said before oh, several times you always gotta find that good so oh, yeah it ain't always that's, bad that's right that's what it's about man being okay. able to find the good despite all the crazy shit that goes on in a given week month something year. good so, yeah, there's always something. something. Something else real quick. It was kind of creepy, but it was kind of, I don't know, because earlier in the day, you know, and I know I said this and that about prayer wars. Let me clarify that one time. If you're praying for $20 to come in your pocket or praying to win the damn lottery or praying that this bill get cut off, you ain't done nothing for it. That's what I have a problem with. But actual events that are out of your control completely. Oh, by all means, pray. I was praying for the situation that's going on in my family. Uh, earlier this morning, early yesterday morning. So that evening, we have this uh, football balloon from Kevion's birthday. So we just sitting mm-hmm. there, and the football balloon just comes out slow mm-hmm. on its own. The air ain't on, the heat ain't on. The bitch just come out slow, and then it's going towards Janake because you know what she got going on. So it goes towards her. It goes out past the door, comes back to the jacket she wears all the time, and it just stood there. Now, mind you, when I was praying, I was like, you know. Dad, you know what I'm saying? Tell the man upstairs, whoa, 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 for a minute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then the balloon happened. So I just, I just like, dang, that's probably dad right there. So mm-hmm. I just thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool, man. Yeah. You know, mom got stories like that all the time, man. Oh, yeah. She, we hear him. We hear him almost mm-hmm. all the time we go down there. With that being said, yes, sir. I know I was talking about Doug funny earlier. I know, I know. Got jokes <laughs> right. and stuff, man. Dear Journal, Patty Manny. Space ass. So I don't really do it. I know it's a good, it's a good uh way to get your feelings and emotion and emotions out because us in particular as melanin brothers, we do mm. not really express our feelings completely. Sure. You'll get sure. mad, you'll get happy. And you'll get sad at a funeral. That's the three that you're going to normally get when it's us. Mm-hmm. And how do I know? Because hmm, I'm blacker than my brother is. But anyway, <laughs> um, excuse me. I have more melanin than my brother. Here we, here um, we go again. Here yeah. we go again. That motherfucker the same color as a damn McDonald's bun or some shit. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> that was lame, man. That was weak. That was McDonald's weak. bun? bun. You can come yeah. better than yeah. that. Yeah, I, I talk that was, you better than I'm that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But anyway, man. So... The real question is, do black men journal? It's not really a, a diary is for females. Journal is for men, if y'all didn't know that out there. Sorry about I mean, this joke. <laughs> not necessarily. I mean, I guess to answer the question quickly, if you got other shit to do, I mean, the answer to the question is yes. I think black men journal. 
do I think more black men should not journal? Yeah. Uh, I'm talking to a buddy of mine now and trying to motivate him into it. He's like, man, I'm trying to get into it. I just can't. Got got the journal, got the pen. I, I'll try to do it sitting in the bed. And next thing I know, I'm asleep. I've been journaling about a year and a half. I took a good little break there. Um, like I said, I got all, all my habits and stuff when dad died, but I'm getting back into it now. Um, it's more than just to me anyway. Dear diary, today the girl in accounting smiled at me. <laughs> She's pretty attractive. Maybe one day I'll ask her out. <laughs> no, I mean, for me anyway, if, if that's what you need to do to process how you feel about the girl in accounting or wherever she's at, yeah. um, that, that's fine. But usually what I do is I just do a brain. I do a couple of different things. So I've got my to-do list type journaling thing, like tasks and goals and things I want to get accomplished to form into habits like we talked about. So I have my habits and what steps do I need to do to do in systems. So it's almost more tactical than a journal. So if you check out like bullet journal and stuff like that, that's one phase of it. I also keep in there like notes from books that I'm reading and I also keep ideas that pop in my head. So I have little notebooks all over the house and I keep one on me. And if something comes up in my head, I'll jot it down. And with the other one I have, the newest one I started just in January is I do a, a daily journal. So it's like one or two sentences every day of what I'm thankful for. So, you know, like we said, in all the crazy shit in the world, you got to show some gratitude and think about the good that's happening too. Cause there is something you just got to look for it. The main one I have is I just take like 10 minutes and sit, listen to some music and just go and whatever you want to write about just comes out. So it could be what I ate that day, what I want to do. And it's amazing. Like the tangents you go on, you start realizing like solutions to problems. You realize new goals you realize ideas shit just starts to make sense i mean that's how i figured out the idea to start a podcast in the journal or fleshed it out rather no it's not all oh the girl i think about her so um no it's good tactical get shit done better man shit you know um Mm -hmm. it it really helps you figure out things processes because some things you just don't necessarily want to talk to your wife about yeah. And sometimes, I mean, you talk to your boys, your family, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, sometimes some, it's stuff you don't want to talk to them about either. Right. It, it's sometimes it's shit that only, you know, you just got to hear it out and flesh it out. So, Kevin, if you, I know you don't journal, <laughs> but if you were to journal, do you, what, what do you think you'd do? Right. No, I'll just play it. Um, oh man no but seriously um i don't know man i mean the closest thing i've ever came to journaling was um writing my music it wasn't oh i'm dripped out and i got this nine on me all all the time some they got a little bit of that stuff gotta gotta do something for fun Mm -hmm. a lot of that stuff was real emotions you know it was a lot of anger when I write, when I wrote, my yeah, life. back then you were an angry ass yeah, little dude. I was, so I was, I was, I had a really fucked up temper, fucked yeah. up mindset, all that shit, and you know I did through my music. But now mm-hmm. that I'm older, I don't really journal. I more meditate than journal. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sitting yeah. cross legged because my knees is fucked up. So, <laughs> you know, I just, you know what you mean. I just sit there. Now I don't go um all the other shit. No. I close my eyes and I, like I told, said, and what's best in life, I reflect. Yeah, um, just different shit is going on just to get my mind right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I've learned breathing exercise for it, and it, it really works for me. I mean, can't, can't. Yeah. I, mean, I, I wasn't gonna say, I ain't gonna say that. But uh, <laughs> and for me, it's uh, yeah. So most of the time, I fall asleep meditating. But um, it's about Sorry? it's about our mental health. And us, mm-hmm. one of them brothers yeah. that you hear uh, Charlemagne say it all the time. Yeah, us, we don't really take care of our mental health like that because mm-hmm. it's looked at as uh, you weak, man. You being a bitch, man. Suck that shit up. Just like you call me Doug Funny for journaling, man. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Do face ass. I got it back. Those, I got it back. For it. those that are too young, I <laughs> we put a picture of Doug Funny just so y'all know. 
Snoop Dogg. Yeah, if you can find a little clip, good old cartoon. Dear Diary, that should be fucking hilarious. He would say Dear Journal, man. He would say Dear Diary. He ain't say shit man. about no Dear Journal. Bet. 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 We'll see when I find it. Bet. Loser got it, mm-hmm. I don't know, for the next episode. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, right. man. Figure it out. Uh, yeah, and if you guys in the comments think of something yeah, y'all for, the think bet, so. for the wages, so let we, us know. Y'all hit a bit. Yeah, man. So you said you meditate? I, I do that yeah. too, man. It's pretty cool. Like I usually do about 10 minutes because anything more than that, and I'm probably gonna be asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, definitely. Same thing. Even um, Kimmy, um, I was like, no, son, I ain't sleep. I'm meditating. <laughs> see, my, see, mommy, he's meditating. <laughs> he ain't sleep. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Right, right. Drool and shit falling down. <laughs> What you think yeah. about I'ma pay these bills? Yep. Cause I gotta get out here and do it myself. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, man. So if whatever whatever tools you guys out there use, uh like bro said, journaling is definitely good. Black man, black man, sorry, melanin brothers, because I said I'm trying not to say black and African American anymore. Um mm-hmm. but y'all brothers out there, y'all, y'all go ahead and Get these feelings out because you ain't gonna tell your homeboys because you're gonna get clowned. You ain't gonna tell your mama because sometimes your mama's not not saying our mama personally because our mama don't give a damn. She'll say yeah. what she's gonna say when she's gonna say it. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. you know, some moms be like, ah, that's okay, baby. You just need to go ahead and just go ahead, you know, take your side. Yeah. They ain't really gonna It'll be all right. Yeah, they ain't gonna really enforce nothing. And your mm-hmm. wife, you know what I'm saying? She'll either not ours either, putting that out there. I know <laughs> when this come out, the wife is going to give me that damn look like, oh, really, motherfucker? <laughs> I ain't, man, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Um, but yeah, you know, some wives, they don't really, it's not, y'all, you being weak as hell. You were you worrying about how you depressed right now. You need to worry about cutting the damn grass. You know, some shit like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Not no really positive reinforcement, but to actually do that shit yourself. Reflect yeah. on your own shit, either journal, meditate, whatever. And like you said, you'll figure out fucking solutions that way also. Yeah. Yeah. The coolest shit that I noticed is when I first started, I went back and read some of the early stuff. Mm-hmm. And you get to see kind of where you're, it's almost like a time capsule. Uh, when you go back and look and yeah. you can kind of see what's going on in your life, where your headspace was at, you know, what was going on, how you feel. I ain't think and about compared that. to what is, man, it's, it's there, motivating. There's so much to it. Yeah. Oh, that's just real motivating. Yeah. Like, damn. And one piece of advice get a good pen. Man, because I've had some shitty pens and they piss me off. And treat that pen like a lighter. Don't let nobody hold that shit because they go cut yeah. it. Come on, yeah. take a lighter yeah. and a fucking pen <laughs> just as quick. <laughs> So now we'll talk about a little more maybe some other time, but I'm trying to do something fancy with mine now. And I have my first uh, fountain pen, man. Ew. Yeah, man. Fountain pen. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Let me dot out my memoirs. Yeah. Ew. Right, right. I couldn't get the uh, jar of ink, man, because that was just going too far. Yeah, the feather pen. No, dog. That should just take too long. No, nah, they have cartridges, man. You just drop the cartridge. Oh, they get cartridges. Yeah. Oh, you gotta out. do it the old school way if you're gonna do it the real. If you nah, hell no. Nah. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> dip that shit in like how the direct the Declaration of Independence and shit was fucking written. You gotta mess around and knock the damn ink over and have ink. And... No, yeah. oh, you gotta, you gotta do that shit, man. So, maybe one day. <laughs> and man, it's going on a side note, but it's amazing the shit that people geek out on. I mean, you know, we talk about cigars, and drinks, and guns, and everything else and Mm -hmm. me motorcycles and gaming and anime and everything else but man i was watching videos to see like you know is there a way to use the pen correctly or tips to make it work better well you research every goddamn thing it's it's (laughs) second nature man (laughs) got to because you find out there's little things that you miss to make the experience better man Mm -hmm. you you just never know like you could be doing something and you'd be like whoa this slight little tweak makes everything better. So definitely got to research my shit. Yeah, I tried researching some Madden defense and I got my ass torched listening to that dumb shit. But I mean, you know, it works, it don't work. Mm-hmm. It works, it don't work. Mm-mm. But, but man, I was going to say, they geek out over pins, man. Like one of the videos, this lady was like, I just have so many and I'm just so excited. That's stupid. Like, pins? Oh, 
Okay. I mean, different I strokes guess. for different folks. I yeah, guess. I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess. But I mean, my personal opinion, personal opinion, that's fucking stupid. Yeah. Okay. Because pens are fucking expensive. Man. Do you yeah, know? Yeah. I just seen like spend... a $300 pen once. No, I'm talking about like thousands. No, nah, hell pens, no. Man. I, I was like, off if the oh, pack is $10. Shit. I ain't getting no $10 no. fucking pen. No, my pen is 15 bucks. I wouldn't bought that shit either. Matte black. You know. Gotta have them shit blacked out. Right Everybody should try it one at least once. Get yourself a fountain pen and get fancy with the the right. Make you just want to sign your name and shit. Boy, you say fountain like that. You say chicken. Well, get fountain pen. <laughs> you got them fountain, fountain pen. Man, yeah, man. Chickens. You should you should give it a shot, man. Get you with a, a fountain pen. Nah, I mean you oh. can start with a regular pen, and but yeah, get journal in the shot, man. And if you guys out there journal, let us know how you do it. Let us know what you talk about. What works? What's your system? Stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna do a journaling challenge just for myself. It ain't gonna be on social media or nothing. You might see a picture of the notebook or some shit on the file mm-hmm. file language podcast page or something like that. But I'm gonna try journaling for a whole week straight. Don't know when that week's gonna be right now, but mm-hmm. it's coming. So, so ma'am, I was out and about out. Mm-hmm. on what's today? So yesterday, thought I'd go and hit up academy and just see what the ammo situation is looking like out there in the world oh my goodness (laughs) i mean before you could at least find like shotgun shells Mm -hmm. and 22 lr and nothing a couple of miscellaneous stuff the random box of 300 blackout what's your personal opinion the cause of the ammo shortages because some people say it's a revolution coming we got to get ready and is other motherfuckers is just like oh because of coronavirus they ain't been able to produce as much ammunition and all this other stuff with their their plants where they make the ammunition at because covid so, and people not working and stuff like that so what 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 is your personal opinion on what you think the reason for this ammo shortage is it's both so what i think happened is kind of just like the toilet paper and all the issues. meats Yes. Yes. Bastards. Yes. So it's it, it take that same kind of logic, multiply it by a thousand, but but then there's another piece to it too. So mm-hmm. people who are on social media, mm-hmm. and they're also helping because you know if they are maybe sponsored by a particular manufacturer of ammo or something, they may be pushing people to buy just because and have selfish motivations. Cause I watched a video and they were talking about some things you should buy right now going into the new administration. And one of them was ammo. Mm. But if you already got thousands of rounds, do you need more? Yeah. That's what a guy was talking to today. Yeah, I got about 12,000 rounds of uh, two, two threes. And I'm like, you selfish, some of them a bitch. You see me in here looking for them shits and you got them all. Mm-hmm. Right. And what, and I think we talked about it last week. Like the guy when I was in Cabela's, and he was like, "Nope, I'll take it all." Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna even use it. Selfish, some of a bitch. And everybody's like, "Oh, I just want to be ready in case thing I really need it." So let me ask you a question, man. Go for it. Before I get back to answering your question, because it relates to my answer. So you were deployed. Yep. Where you actually had to carry a weapon. Mm-hmm. And it was very vital to your life, safety, and well-being. How many times would you honestly say you fired it, if you can disclose? Next question. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, but what I'm what I'm getting at, and if you don't want to answer, that's cool. Um, what I'm getting at is, I guarantee you, even in deployment, you ain't firing no damn twelve thousand rounds no. through your entire time there. Only time you would if you just in a really, really really fucking hot zone i mean and but even still though you I mean twelve thousand, bro bro that shit can go quick i mean i know it goes quick but i'm just saying if you in a hot hot zone shit becomes done after a while at some point right for that day well i mean yeah sure <laughs> sure 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 i mean yeah right Then you got the next day and the next day yeah i mean and that's that, what i'm getting there's actually a movie um, I cannot remember the name of that movie. I have to get back to you on that. But it was based off a real event, and they were in mm-hmm. this 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 bowl. Mm-hmm. And you know they had to hide the mountains around them, and they're in this bowl, and they would get mm. attacked constantly, constantly, constantly until the real big attack came. I guarantee they used more than twelve thousand ammo. So, in. 
And if and anybody has a relative that was there or anything like that, mm-hmm. hey, thank you for your service. We're proud for right. what y'all done. Yep. Freaking warriors, you guys. All right, but carry on, sir. But see, that's the extreme end of the spectrum. Yep. You know, Joe Bob over here that's in his double wide. Not Joe Bob. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Don't know what the hell Joe Bob came from. <laughs> fat, bald head, motherfucking coveralls and shit. <laughs> That's like the guy that took the ammo. So he he kind of looked like a Joe Bob to me. So I, I kind of felt that. That dude really pissed me off. We're not gonna get back on last week, mm. but that one just sat wrong with me. Yeah. But that damn Joe Bob. You, you see them, and I think what's going on for, for me is a combination of it's a it's a self fulfilling prophecy. So first of all, everybody was just buying because they were so scared that something was gonna happen, and then after that they bought they had and then they're like well i guess i bought might as well buy some more and then the demand was unprecedented so yeah manufacturers can't plan for <laughs> the crazy shit of 2020 going into 2021 mm-hmm. so they were just planning business as usual to some degree right not not planning to have a freaking you know landslide of business and purchasing I think that that part and they couldn't keep up with it. And I mean, I heard things about you, they couldn't find the primers at one point in time. Mm-hmm. Now I'm hearing with everybody at home and getting so much stuff shipped. Now there's even a damn issue with cardboard. Like, damn. Why, yeah, I know. So just all the materials and shit. I think Man, they better go was, to the back of Family Dollar and take that shit to be in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Recycle, man. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I, I used so, to do that shit every time I moved. Yeah. <laughs> so and so just thinking about all the shortages of materials thinking about people's fear stocking stuff up and then thinking about those times where people are trying to confirm that fear whether they have the best intentions or not they're buying more and buying more yeah. and they're like well i have twelve thousand rounds let me go see if i can find some more and let me go see if I can find some more. Now, if you're finding because, you know, you've got you retired or you work nights or whatever the case may be where you don't have a normal you're, you're not at work during the, no, the normal business hours or whatever. And you're like, say, hey, let me buy some and disperse it through the family. So, you know, everybody can get some. I'm fine with that. That's yeah. cool. That, that's good looking out. But just to buy and just hoard and just have boxes of boxes and cases and cases of just ammo that you never go this is my end of the world ammo <laughs> i mean if the shit really gets that bad most of y'all ain't gonna be here anyway yep. so natural selection right so save it for those that really need it i'm supposed and, to sit back and eat my tuna and ramen noodles right and then i bet you half of them they buy it all can't even shoot with it that's probably so, why they need so much ammo <laughs> <laughs> Right. So I don't know. It just drives me crazy. It's crazy. Man. So what do you what do you think? You know, what do you think is causing it? What do you think about it all? Just period? um causing it, I think it's the same thing. The exact same thing. Manufacturers can't keep up because of the pandemic and all this other stuff. Plus the the it's gonna be a revolution, guys. Remember, I, I don't think I shared that one video, but you had the one guy, oh, oh if if Biden wins, then it's going to be a war. They like, sit your dumb ass down. Um, I mean, but it's so interesting. They say that every time, you always hear it every time the party changes mm-hmm. in the White House. Yeah. Every single time in my adult life. And I went back and thought about it and did some research. I think I've been alive since Reagan. And every single time you can find stuff saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. Maybe one day that will be true. But right now we're still here. I doubt it. And the reason I say I doubt it because they tried to get Buck a little while ago at the Capitol or whatever. And that shit got shut the fuck down as soon as the National Guard came out there in them buses. Mm-hmm. As soon as they came, they didn't even get the good buses either. Damn, National Guard, y'all going out <laughs> bad. That's horrible. No Greyhound. Y'all ain't had a little sliding thing on the side to lift up so you can put your bag underneath. Hey, they just had to get they had to get them in yeah, the woman there. They had to get there. And and that's they, what that was, was there, about. and then, you know, you yeah. could see the day and the night. Nighttime, yeah. they weren't fucking around, but they oh, were they man. Man. What? They I were, saw that. No they man. were not playing. Mm. But but yeah, back back. But to that's the, what you always say, though. You always say, man. People think the National Guard they don't they don't be playing. No nah, hell no. I mean, cause they they forget every branch of the army has the infantry, for one. 
and the the National Guard Reserve Infantry folks. That is all they do when they come to drill. They're in the fucking woods shooting shit. That is all they fucking do. If mm-hmm. I'm wrong, my brothers, my sisters, y'all correct me in the comments after you subscribe. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But you know what I'm saying. That that's all they do. But mm-hmm. as far as what I think about it, it's crazy because the letter came out. One of my partners, shout out to my homeboy Bucky. He he posted this uh letter from Winchester saying because of the demand or whatever of manufacturing that, or some shit, the prices are gonna go up. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh shit. So I went to the, you know, I went to the gun shop today. Actually, mm-hmm. I was going, you know, I'm gonna see what the ammo looking out. They ain't had no two two threes. They had five five six ammo. You could get a box of thirty for fucking seventy dollars. A box of like fifty was a hundred and nine dollars. Fucking twenty two rounds. They went from four ninety five to eight ninety five. Them bitches is nineteen ninety five right now. I said, man, I ain't getting shit out this motherfucker. Cause yeah. I'm I'm not greedy. I, I ain't gonna tell like I said before. I'm not gonna tell everybody what I got. Mm-hmm. But I got enough ammo for all my shit. I do. And in part, yeah. that's why I don't really go to the range no more because of that ammo shortage. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I I want to hold on to what I can hold on. But if I get a chance to go get range ammo versus defense ammo and Mm -hmm. that's probably not a real thing but how i look at it as the ballpoint ammo that's for the range hollow points and shit like that that's for somebody's body well yeah i mean yeah but it's crazy it's crazy and i'm about to move to a state where ammo is really 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 freaking short yeah i'm gonna try to stack up just a little bit more just so yeah, i, I mean, have that, it that, you know that I'm makes saying? sense but that makes sense going overboard i mean a few hundred rounds that's about my limit i'm not mm-hmm. gonna get thousands there's no point of fucking thousands yeah that's just just gonna sit there and sit there and sit there unless you one of them guys to go out shooting every day and in which case mm-hmm. what are you prepping for if you're using all your ammo every day it don't make sense to me i mean i'm not gonna lie there is a goal of mine to get some acreage just so I can, you know, <sighs> let's go shooting this morning right now. I mean, that shit looks fun. Yeah, it does. But, and that, that's why I wanted to. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's a whole different thing, though. So if you can do that, I mean, that looks fun. And I would have ammo for that. But, I mean, I have some. And what I'll do is if I go to the range, usually I'll get a, because they'll they, ranges will get ammo. They'll find a way. Oh, yeah. Um. And they weren't the last time I went. They weren't too overpriced. They were higher than the last time I bought, but I get it. I mean, they probably got to play higher too. I usually will buy like a box of hundred and mm-hmm. then shoot fifty or so, and then keep the other fifty. Right, right. And then right. that way I get some some shots in. Because like I said, I'm still learning, so I still need to actually. I mean, dry firing is cool and all that, but I do need some time once it goes bang reacquiring my target and all that good stuff doing stuff like that yeah. and it's just you pick that that's anticipate that's anticipating the the recoil mm-hmm. once you get used to it you'll stop yeah. anticipating it yeah i mean that and then just like multiple targets in different areas and stuff like that and just different little drills and stuff like that is what i want to work on yeah for, for like actual firing so being able to go trans it's called transitioning Ah, transition. A transition yes. between targets. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so one of the things I saw, I was looking online this morning for ammo just to see because I was watching the video and they were like, yeah, don't buy ammo online right now because they will fleece you. They will take all your money. And I saw a box of 29 mil for $32. Box of 20 box of 20 for 30 something no. for 30 dollars last time i got i it's got like a dollar 50 a bullet man it's crazy jesus i paid the last time i bought some i bought some from cabela's for 25 27 dollars for like um no i guess i was about no it was 22 for like 25 rounds i think or something like that it was still high but mm-hmm. it wasn't that it wasn't as bad as that but I was even looking at buying a 10 mil, man, just because. Oh, had, yeah. I remember you was talking about a that shit, shit ton of 10 mil ammo, man. And they had a shit ton in the spot I went to today. I was yeah. like, damn. Lamar said that. I mean, stacks. Yeah. stacks. Yes, I know. Like, here, even the 22 ammo was almost gone. I think they yeah. had one big ass box. Yeah. And they had like 100, about 100, 150 in that box. 
and that shit mm-hmm. was about $120, some shit like that. And yeah, then, then they had the little boxes of 25 for $20. But them shits was running out. They didn't have mm-hmm. 223s are gone because, you know, mm-hmm. the the civilian ARs and shit like that, they really don't shoot 5.56 five, too well. Mm-hmm. 223 is the civilian round, 5.56 five, is more like the military round. Sure. So the civilian weapons shoot better with 223s a lot of times in my opinion once again you gear those out there hell no boy you talking about that shit only shoot the damn two two three they shoot the fives and fives and sixes already mm-hmm. jimbo go show this motherfucker how we go ahead and do this here you know them motherfuckers man but you know yeah. y'all y'all do y'all say what y'all want to say but like i said subscribe first because it's gonna be some <laughs> more ammo stuff coming out some more weapon stuff coming out y'all probably gonna yeah. get pissed off because i might say the wrong thing yeah. hey and I know I'm gonna say the wrong thing because I'm still learning and figuring this out, and it's fun. So I don't mind being wrong. Hey, man, two tears in a bucket. That's right. That's right. So the ammo, sh- ammo shortage is is what it is. It's probably gonna be like that way for a while. Yeah, um, no, there, at least this year, longer maybe. There's actually a gun show this weekend that's literally like maybe two or three miles down the road from me that I was mm-hmm. gonna go to. But when I seen all the general tickets were gone, they only had like the uh, the VIP tickets. For one, I was like, hell no, because I know everybody gonna be out there looking for ammo. Number two, I was like, hell no, because them vendors, them prices is gonna be higher oh, than in the damn yeah. store for fucking ammo. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, I'm not even going in there. I ain't gonna pay almost twenty dollars a ticket to just walk around God, and go ooh and yeah. ah and don't get shit. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was online a couple of days ago, and they were talking about just a, just how high at the gun show the ammo prices were they were saying it was ridiculous and they were talking to them because they were like yo you know can we work on a price or something and they were like no they're not budging because people buying yeah and you got people that don't do research don't know how much stuff costs and they're just like oh you have it i, I can't need to find it i'm gonna buy it i made Capitalism that capitalism at its finest once years ago i was like yeah just give me some nine million ammo i don't know what kind of huh? nine million mm-hmm. ammo and they gave me some nine man ammo and it was a box of like 40. And I think they charged me about 50 or $60 for that box. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh fuck. No, I mean, I already got it. I wanted it, I needed it. I was trying to go shoot. Hindsight, I should have left that shit where the fuck it was, went somewhere yeah. else or something like that. Yeah. But you, you're exactly right. They ain't gonna, they'll budge on everything else. Mm-hmm. But you'll have to like come up with a good. They like you could barter at gun shows though. That's, that's a good thing about that. But well, yeah. I mean, you ammo, could barter, but I don't know past. if they'll barter. No, from what they were saying, and this is a couple of videos saying the same thing, they're not bothering because if you know you won't pay three dudes down the line, mm-hmm. not only are they gonna pay, they're gonna buy two or three boxes. So, just just like the Xbox Series X. Yeah. So the hell with you who wants to barter, I'm gonna wait for this idiot over yeah. here to <laughs> pay out the exactly. notes. Exactly. So now I'll stay about going out there and put some attachments too and stuff like that, but I ain't yeah. really worrying about none of that right now, man. I ain't even going. We ain't even gonna go. Plus, COVID, that new strand that just dropped out and mm-hmm. all this other shit. I, I'm not really trying to fuck around too much. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna buy another gun at the end of the month, but now I'm kind of like, if I can't find ammo for it unless I find a 10 mil that I like. Yeah. Uh, I, hmm. I just will just wait. Maybe I might start shopping 10 mils. I wonder how much those run. I've never like really. Um, dealt with 10 mils too often. I mean, I saw like the Glock 10 mil. It was like seven, eight hundred dollars. Mm. I'm not super versed in what their price like, but my whole thing is I'm not gonna want it when things get back to normal. And that's yeah, hell I'm yeah. Saying. That's ammo, dog. You can always go to the range and. Just... Well, no, I'm saying, uh, do I want a 10 mil weapon or do I want something else? Well, I'd be like, damn, I guess I should sell this and get something else. I guess I could do that. Yeah, you could. A lot of pawn shops and shit to do a swap for swap sometimes. Mm-hmm. So you swap that out and then they'll. Knock off a few hundred dollars off of the shit you really want. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna hit some pawn shops up and see what they look like. I haven't been to too many of those, so I'll check that out. How many pawn shops I know, have I been to? Like five. I know a couple months ago, Kim had called me one day. She was like, Do you know if uh, Academy's going out of business or having a sale or something? Because when I was driving by there on the way to work, there was a line out the door. I was like, No, it's just a line to get ammo. Yeah, I was supposed to say they must have just got a new shipment in. Yeah, no. Um, I was no. talking to the guy when I bought my my nine mil. Mm-hmm. He was saying they do that every morning. Damn. 
Yeah, every morning, whether they got it or not. They just want to be there just in case they do. Boy, the fucking Lone Star State, boy. <laughs> Gonna get our fucking ammo. But one thing it would Academy, I don't know if they're still doing it. If you buy a weapon there, they'll they give you a box of ammo. Well, they give you the opportunity to buy a box of ammo. Yeah, even the pawn yeah. shops are mm. pretty much like that. You buy it, they'll ask you, do you need some ammo? Mm-hmm. I think they keep some in reserve just for that moment. They put a few out. Yeah. And then let that be like that. The shop I went to today, shit, some of their ammo didn't even have fucking, uh, the shit wasn't even in boxes. That shit was in Ziploc bags, because fucking sandwich bags. And they wrote what kind of mm-hmm. ammo it was on the front. I said, well, God damn. <laughs> shit, I almost looked at learning how to reload, man. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> it was crazy. But yeah, ammo shortage is a is a real big thing right now. It's and it's probably gonna be that way for a little bit. So I mean, yeah. you guys out there buckle down. Um, if you see this and y'all y'all know where to get some good ammo from online or what store you usually keep the 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 ammo that you use, make sure you leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, hit that subscribe button first. But make sure you leave a comment. Either if you can't leave a comment on the video, leave a comment on Facebook, on Instagram. Yeah. Let us know about the, where y'all are getting ammo from right now. Because, I mean, I might need a couple thousand. You never know, man. Zombies might walk down the street tomorrow, and I got to fire off at some zombies or something. You never know. You never know. I just want to buy some more. <laughs> but, yeah, speaking of fucking zombies and <laughs> shit like that, man, Um, what anime got zombies in it? Is there any anime that's like zombies? There's a few. Uh, um, what's that? Tokyo Ghoul or some shit? Tokyo Ain't Ghoul. Zombies? Ain't zombies? The High School of the Dead. Um, What's another one that had zombies? Um, I can't I think of any off the top of my head. I mean, there's a lot of have zombie-like creatures. Hell, Helsing technically had zombies in it. I tried to get back in there. Couldn't do it. Helsing Ultimate is good. That's the one I tried. I couldn't do it. Oh, you could? Uh, hmm. You know my attention span. I know. I know, man. So last year in 2020, a lot of the anime studios, they kind of slowed production. Yeah, they did. I was hot. Yeah. I mean, I understand it. I mean, I understand too. That don't mean I ain't. I wasn't pissed off about it. (laughs) Now that anime Mm -hmm. is kicking back in full force, yes, sir. They have been dropping everything right now. So yeah, man. Some of the anime that's out now, uh, they they kicking it back up in 2021, full Mm -hmm. gear, man. Like all kind of stuff is coming out. I just saw the first trailer for the uh, Demon Slayer dub. So that'll be making its way over here soon, finally. Well, the dub's already out. The dub of the the and the movie. Oh, the movie. the movie! No, the movie. Yeah, I'm talking about the movie. Here, yeah. yeah, I know the dub is out. I told you about that. But that that's one that. of my ones I'm excited for. Yeah. So so yeah, man. On that train, what kind of anime coming up? Either that we know of is coming out, or we would like to see. Um, what are you looking forward to seeing more of? Um, let's see, let's see. Like you said, Demon, Demon Slayer, because I read all of the manga for for Demon Slayer, so I know where it's coming next. And that Did little, it end? Yeah, yeah, it's over. Okay. It ended really stupid as fuck, by the way. Yeah, so that, that shit's going to be pretty fucking epic. You you get to see the, the, the baddest of the bad of the Demon Slayers, man. They're like the the Elite 7 or 8. I forgot how many it is, but they, they're the baddest. You're talking about the, the um, however you say pillars in Japanese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Them guys. Like the guy that yeah. was in the, the beginning with uh, Tanjiro in the first episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take yeah. your sister, you punk ass bitch. That guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah that, that's going to be really dope. One of my top favorites that I mentioned in our last anime episode, fucking Kingdom, is fucking coming back, baby. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah, I'm so excited. My boys are excited. Me and the boys watch Kingdom, <laughs> bro. As soon as that's it come, cool. that was our ritual when a new season came out. I get mm-hmm. off of work, I change or whatever, you know what I'm saying, unwind for a second, and then I'll go, Kingdom, Kingdom. Then the boys come out. Kingdom, Kingdom. And we sit down and start watching Kingdom. So we got a couple episodes in. The shit wasn't coming on no more. And I was like, man, hey, man, boys. Kingdom's oh, done till next year. It was like, what? I was like, yeah. Let them down. Dang. But that's coming back. It's probably going to drop in April again, I hope. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. What else? What else? That I would like to see. Got a high school. Because that shit, I've been reading them webtoons. And that shit is fucking... Mm-hmm. Great, great. Only thing I'm gonna mm-hmm. say is, as of right now, the the Monkey King was reincarnated, sort of. Mm-hmm. And that's all I'm gonna say with that. 
So I, I told you, you got to get into it and read it, man. You, you'll mm-hmm. really enjoy that. Uh, man, it's just time and time to read it, yeah. man. Gosh. What else? Baki. I'm waiting on Baki. Yeah, yeah me too. That That's going to be pretty dope. Um, King and Ashura, I think that's how you pronounce that shit. I want that shit. I'm ready for that shit to come back. Oh, you had me excited, man. I thought it was coming back. I thought no, you were no, say no, it was no, coming no, back. No. I went man, for that I'll, to come back. So once you get over how it's animated. Yeah, it's good. It's actually it's really good. good. It's real good. That's I mean, why you want really to watch it at first. Yeah, it was hard to watch. Like the one dude, the young grappler dude, and he was like stretching. Mm-hmm. I was like, why your muscles look so weird, man? It's, all of them look weird like that. They all look weird, man. So, But I enjoy it. The, the fights are real good, too. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, I think Baki's gonna be good because I there was an uh, episode that I missed or mm-hmm. they added that I watched a couple weeks ago where the the inmates or whatever. Oh, when they come back, when they come back, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think that was up there first. I think they added that. Mm-hmm. I could have sworn I watched every last fucking episode of that. I part. think so. I can't remember. I saw it, but I can't remember if it was like a short break and then more. I can't. I could I could have sworn the last one ended with him fighting. Super, excuse me, Muhammad Ali's son or whatever. Yeah, that pissed me off so bad, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, kind of knew it was going to happen, but, man, at least make it a good fight for a minute. Yeah, I was rooting for our own kind, but the way he was he was thirsty for his chick, <laughs> <in> the <laughs> chick I was like, come on, bro. Like, I want to beat your ass, and it's the damn mean, anime. Right. All the chicks in the anime world, and you wanted her? Oh, She's man. about as basic as they get, man. Y'all but, forget me out there in, this, in, in the... uh. Out there in the world, if you're watching this, uh, sometimes hiccups come or whatever. Okay. We ain't gonna worry about editing that shit out, bro. That shit happens. Fuck it. You got hiccups over here, man. This so is the first since, ever podcast with hiccups. Sis, I got fucking hiccups and shit right now. You know, it's, I think it's, I'll go. it's Kevin shit, man. I'm gonna do some Kevin shit. Either intentionally or not intentional, some Kevin <laughs> shit is gonna happen. Oh, so, uh, with that being said, well, I try to get rid of these hiccups, bro. The floor is yours. <laughs> I'll take over while you get your life together and work out whatever's going on in your situation. So you mentioned Baki. Um, definitely Baki. Uh, some of the ones I'm looking forward to, they've already started back up. Promise Neverland, that one's dope. You'll never watch it. No, probably not. Shit, it is so, man, like the suspense. It's like, you're like, oh, these kids are running in the field when the episode starts. And it's like, just chilling, just chilling, and it's just chilling. And you find yourself like, oh, shit, by the end of the episode. Mm. Damn, shit's crazy because you got like really smart people in there. You know, I'm a sucker for smart people in anime, and mm. shit just gets it's it's kind of dark, but it's good. And I hear that it gets really good. Right, uh, Attack on Titan is going on now. Waiting on that to finish, or at least get further along before I watch it. Um, another one, uh, there's an anime called Cells at Work. Mm. Another one you'll probably never watch. It's it like sound like it. It, it's kind of stupid and I wasn't even wa- going to watch it, but we were looking for something to watch with Simone one day. Mm. And I was like, okay, they, you know, make red blood cells and different cells and systems in the body people. So it's kind of funny in a way when they show like, okay, they've got a cold. Mm. So the, the, the bacteria and shit come in and they're like monsters and stuff. And you're fighting power ranger style with these monsters. And <laughs> you see the white blood cells and shit fighting them so it's all right um but what they have coming up mm. is it's called code what is it cells that work black so in the first one they had a guy with a, like a relatively healthy body so in this one they've got a dude a sick dude who's got some issues so shit's kind of like a more serious tone it's dark people are dying good shit yeah so you might watch that one a little more than you watch the other one but it's not bad. I'm kind of looking forward to that one. Uh, another Korean one that I'm looking for is uh, Solo Leveling. I've been trying to get you to read that one. Man, if you like overpowered characters in the show, I don't think anybody does it like Solo Leveling. Yeah, I think I've uh, I think I've seen the first episode or two. Of that. Well, it's not. I don't think it's out yet. I don't think it's animated yet. I think it, that's, it's still on that's not web. Doing? No, it's... um. No, it was um, something else then that you another overpowering character that you told me about. Yeah, I have to see, but no, I don't think that one's out yet. I think they're still working on that one. When that one comes out, that one's gonna be good. It's kind of simple, but I like, I like overpowered simple. characters too. Simple so makes me happy. You you can't get wrong with a overpowered character in the anime. Um, what else? Uh, 
So how do you feel about because they said this is dropping in 2021 also the the last art the the Quincy arc for Bleach the last one mm. how you feel about watching that one completely forgot about that man um I'm gonna watch it just because it's Bleach and same you know that was kind of that point when an- when you started you know because we were watching anime for a long time mm-hmm. and that was kind of the point when anime you could feel that it was starting to get mainstream yeah so I'm gonna watch it for that reason but I read it. It was stupid. It ended really dumb. <laughs> I didn't certain, even finish it. I like, didn't even finish it. Like I want to see what's his name, Gamer Yusai. I want to see his fucking Bankai. I think that's the only thing I'm saying. And 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 Kimpachi's uh fucking Bankai. That's yeah. the only things I really want to yeah. see. And when he was getting trained to use his Bankai. Yeah, and I won't spoil it for over. anybody, but after the shock of the person that was training him. Yeah, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. Listen up. Once she learned about their backstory. But oh, yeah, that's that, just going to yeah. After that, like the very end where the climax or whatever, I don't even care yeah. to watch that shit. Yeah, I didn't even finish it. So I, I watched I finished it just to know it. what happened. And I was just, I was confused as fuck. I'm like, wait, what? But yeah, if y'all have read it, haven't read it, you know what I'm saying? If y'all are a fan of anime, fan of Bleach, check it out. You might like it. You might not like it. Um, Another one that's supposed to be dropping is the, 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 the Diamond Kingdom arc. For Black Clover, it's supposed to oh, be yeah. out also. Now I've read that we just started back watching Black Clover. It's I've read all, that. it's all this filler right now, though. I haven't finished reading it, but so far I will say that you know how Asta's the demon or whatever. Mm-hmm. There's way more demons. Had to be. I mean, that's that's how anime works. Yeah. Once you introduce something, mm-hmm. like, well, guess what? There's like 50 million more of the asses. Yeah, it's a whole bunch more. And, and it's always the one that you fought. <laughs> oh, he's nothing. Right, exactly. There's a twist with uh, Asta's homeboy. I can't remember his name right now. I got a feeling um, of what it is. I ain't gonna, I'm not going to spoil it or attempt to spoil it, but I think I have an idea. Because, you know, he has a little necklace and it explains mm-hmm. exactly who he is and where he came from. Mm-hmm. And that was pretty dope. That was pretty dope. I'm not going to spoil it either. I might spoil it for you, bro, offline, but. I ain't, gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna do it <laughs> online for the people, man. I don't give a damn if you get yeah, you get like oh, fuck it. For me, man, I think that's about it. Um, ones that I've got that I haven't watched yet because I'm waiting for it to go completely dub is the Inuyasha spinoff. I think it's called Yasha yeah. or something like. Yeah, that. yeah, I'm waiting to watch that too. Like I watched the first two episodes subbed, but I'm like, oh mm-hmm. shit, they're coming out with the dub. I'm gonna finish watching it. Something else, and it's kind of kind of got an old school anime feel as I'm watching. It's Dragon Quest, the story of Day or Die or however mm-hmm. you pronounce his name. And that yeah, shit, I heard that was pretty good. That shit's actually really good. Yeah, I wasn't good. no, I wasn't sure if I was gonna feel. I wasn't sure if I wanted another shonen style anime because sometimes I just want more mature, violent shit. Yeah. But the reason I saw that and watched that is because of the the anime game that came out, Jump Force, and he's one of the characters on. Yeah. It. I was well, like, who the fuck is this guy? Oh shit, I like his sword shit. I almost <laughs> bought Jump Force for the. Sh- for the switch yeah it's not all it, after you get over the first day of the initial uh oh shit i'm fighting with naruto i'm fighting with goku oh shit yeah. da, 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 da. after like the first couple days like eh, she's mm-hmm. pretty fucking weak yeah because that's why i didn't get it fight you told games me it in weak. general for me man i don't really do them no more i play mm-hmm. tekken because the four-year-old likes to play damn tekken <laughs> He, oh, you're gonna get scrubbed, Dad. You go, and I hate because what he does is sorry to get off topic, but what he does is, is he'll sometimes pick the same character you got, and after you whoop his ass, he'll say he won. (laughs) 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 No, dog, you lost that one, big guy. That that dude is playing 3D chess with your ass. (laughs) You know what I'm saying. I don't think I've ever heard anybody doing that. No, because I won. I won. That's the character <laughs> I picked, man. You can get your shit together. The way his mind works is freaking oh, man. ridiculous, man. But toddlers will be another episode for another day. That's oh, an episode in itself. Yes. Um, but yeah, as far as the anime I'm waiting for, that's that's all I got, man. That's really all I'm waiting for. Because you know me, when it comes to new shit, I, I watch some old shit over, you know, fucking heartbeat. Over and over and fucking over heartbeat. and over. Until I call you and be like, hey, man, you got to check this out. But there's another one that I started watching. I don't, it seemed like it's pretty old. It, I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's like Sakuya, Sakiya, or something like that. And basically, it's a priest and three demons. And one of them is actually the Monkey King. That's what got me on it. Sayuki. Fighting, yeah, and they're fighting against. It's old. 
Yeah, so I just with uh Shay Gojo and shit like that and, and Hakai. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I we just, used to watch that back in the day. Yeah, because it's, it's based on that. What is it? Journey to the West or yeah, 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 whatever it is. Yeah, that's the whole premise of the anime. And what makes that cool too is that same thing that they're doing mm-hmm. is actually a part of God of High School. Also, it's kind of like a back one of the Monkey King backstories. So that's pretty dope. Well, yeah, because they it's the book. The, yeah. What is it, a Chinese book? That whole Monkey King going to I wherever he got to go. I ain't, I ain't even going to yeah. touch that one. Yeah, there's a, next, there's a Netflix series, too, like Monkey King or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's a li- live action. Legend um, of the Monkey? I'm watching yeah, yeah, that, yeah. too. Yeah, Kim watched that. I didn't watch it. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of the Monkey King. What can I say? <laughs> I am. I really am. Well, you kind of look like one. Hey, you know, oh, he slid that one right up in there. <sighs> You know, I don't do it too often. But, you know, yeah, man. I do but what I do. That's so really in the anime realm, brother. Yeah, man. I can't think of anything. And I know as soon as we wrap up, I'm like, damn. Damn. It was that it's, one. It's, 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 yeah. It's, it's, yeah, man. I'll think of something. If you guys have your stuff you're looking forward to or something we should check out, yeah, let us know. That, yeah. That'd be cool. Definitely except except for Harold Simpson. I'm sorry, dog. <laughs> your recommendations I will not take ever again in my life. What did he recommend to you? Angel Beats. So I watched mm, it. Mm, 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 and mm. and everybody talks about how good and how emotional it is. I was fucking bored. As hell. <laughs> I, I um, damn near cussed him out and kicked him out the house after watching that <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> like, man, what the fuck you got me watching? Oh, man. <laughs> now, back in the day, now, there was a dude, homeboy of mine. He was like, oh, you like anime? You got to check this out. So he broke this anime out, right? And we watching, we watching, we watching, and Kim's in there too, and didn't realize that we would walk smack dab into the middle of a hentai. Dang. I was like, bruh. If you don't know what a hentai is, guys, Google it. Yeah. And Google it and hit video. You... <laughs> <laughs> Google it and hit video. Do it by yourself. That's dangerous. By yourself. Don't say, oh, we're going to watch this new cartoon, kids. They're going to be no, fucked up. Don't, 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 don't. They'll never be the same again. They're going to have a lot, of, for life. a lot of explaining to do. Therapy. They're going to have a journal. <sighs> you need more than a journal <laughs> after that. Because, I mean, when I watched that, I was grown and I was like, what What the hell am I watching? No, I can't get down with that shit. No. No. Well, then, man. I guess that's all we got for tonight, man. It's been a been a fun show. Always, 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 yeah. man. So, uh, which one to leave with the people this time, brother? You had a bomb ass quote last episode. <laughs> can we go for two? Uh, can we go for two? Can we go for two? Dang, I had one too earlier. Um, I had one last night and I marked it. Hold on, I'm gonna go to my phone. Stand by. So while Big Bro's waiting on his quote, looking for his quote, you know what I'm saying. Uh, like always, y'all stay healthy out there. Save some ammo for the rest of us. And um, just remember, man, if they sleeping on y'all, tuck them in. Yeah, I'll put that on my personal <laughs> Facebook page. All right, here we go. So this is another one. This was uh, from January 12th entry of the Daily Stoic. It says, the only thing that you truly possess is your ability to make choices. Mm. So deep. It goes into talking about the things you can and can't control. And the only thing you can is your choices because everything comes down to the choices that you make. You can choose to be happy. You can choose to be sad. You can choose to be angry. So it, that's the only thing you can tr- truly control. Yep, indeed, indeed. Well, with that being said, y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, yes, yes, share, yes, yes. comment, check out our Facebook, check out the Instagram, all that good stuff like that. It's your it's your boy KC Fowler in the building. You know what I'm Lamar, saying? put something in the background so I don't look like I'm for witness protection next time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. And we out of here. Take it easy.